Easy guys, so let's have a look at making a quick loop but show you the techniques I would use and then you can take those techniques and apply them to your own tracks to get something rolling. To start off, we are gonna choose ourselves a BPM 74 is gonna be about right for the idea I've got in my head. So we'll just drag that down. We need some drums, I will use some freebies. I will link the video below that's got the details on that. And let's get ourselves a kick. Today's FL Studio tutorial is sponsored by DistroKid, a digital music distributor. If you want to get your beats out onto all of the major stores at a price an independent artist can easily afford, check the description below for your discount today. That will do, kick one is gonna be good enough. If we right click on this little guy and we do open in new channel, it'll open the sampler channel for us and happy days, we're ready to roll with that. Let's get ourselves a really simple pattern. So we're just gonna make sure we're on pattern one here and we know that's empty, brand new project and all that fun stuff. Let's open up the piano roll. And it will be coming off on probably what, C1. And we're down here, C0, boom. So if we just zoom in here, so we're just looking at one bar, what we'll do, we'll have a kick just here on the one, make that nice and loud. And then on the and of the three, if you want an explanation of like the most basic breakdowns and break patterns, um, that will be linked below as well for you. So right here, we've just got simple as that and what we do is just repeat it across say four bars here so we've got a nice little breakdown we'll have an extra kick here at the end let's just get all those first ones up a little louder so we've got a bit of a vibe going there all right we need ourselves a snare i might just that's more of a, a lo-fi feel isn't it what we'll do I like the sound of that snare, but it's got all that reverb on it. What we'll do is real quickly just uh, use the sample to take that away. So right click, open in a new channel. Now if we go over to this little guy here, we've got our ADSR, switch our envelope on. It's gonna be all over the show now. Doesn't quite work. Bring that right back. Do, do, do. We'll bring the attack right back. We want the decay to be relatively long um, and the release to be quite short and probably no sustain. We can just do it with the decay, perhaps. That cuts all that reverb voice. Turn the envelope off. Got all that push afterwards, which won't be in time, whereas now, just kind of how we want it. So back into our piano roll, let's go and grab our snare too. And we'll just go with the snares on here and we'll just give them a little bit of movement in terms of their level. <laughs> Super simple beat so far. We need ourselves some kind of hi-hat and we'll get a lo-fi sounding hat. Oh, that's, that's nice and crunchy. Let's go with that. Open a new channel and again, let's go and grab our one in here and run the same root key here as the snare, just to make things a little easier for myself. Let's open up this hi-hat, and what we're gonna do is change its root key from C3 just up to the sharp there, just so I can very quickly see where everything is without overlaying it. So now, we'll just be here. And I think we could just have a pattern quite simply like that. Now, that's gonna make it really, really rigid. What I like to do is turn off snap. So go to the little guy up here, snap to grid, turn it off entirely. Make sure it doesn't snap to the cells whatsoever. None. And we're gonna zoom in a touch. And we're gonna click roughly where we want it, but because we've got no snapping, like when we zoom in, we'll see they're all kind of off position a bit, and it just feels way more natural. And that's just gonna help it feel a little bit looser by having no snap on. Now, you want your snap on again later, just pop it back into cell. And something else I'm gonna do is, just for my sake, the kick that's all the way down here. We're just gonna go and put that on 
one note below the C. And then if we just double click on these ghost notes, we can highlight those, press command, go bum, 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 and tap them in the up arrow, and then just bring them down one. And now we've got our pattern there, look. Um, at the end of the fourth bar, we've just got this little kick. And the snare's in the wrong position, extra kick. And what we do, we'll just roll the hi-hats a little bit at the end here as well, and give them a bit of dynamic. And then we'll just go through real quick, just give ourselves some hi-hat dynamics as well, like so. So you've got a bit more feel. You can use quantize to get a similar effect. All right, there we go. So let's just click on pattern one. We'll put that in our main browser. If we press L, it will now play from here. Now what we can do is hold shift and select all of these. If we press command L, it will now pop them all to the mixer for us. Look. and just give ourselves a rough balance. We've not adjusted anything in the mixer, so we can still finally mix that later. Really hope it's been useful for you guys, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.